Hi, this is T with T Quilts, and I'm here to do a viewer request wanting to see the finishing of the jersey quilt. I had decided I wasn't going to do anything else with the quilt, but I will go ahead and throw in some still photos of the finished quilt. Um, I am in the process of quilting the quilt, so I will show you the pattern that I'm using, and then I will make a little video of some of the quilting on my long arm machine. So I am actually so I am using a panto called herringbone and it's a 12 inch roll and it's from Beanie Girl Quilts and I actually purchased this from willowleafstudio.com so here is a little small square showing you what the pattern looks like and then I have it marked off on my machine with painters tape where I'm starting and then this is the panto I'm getting little glow from my quilt and the lights so but this is the quilt pattern on the table you just can't see under the quilt now so I will put on my go cam and I'll do a little quilting and then I'll come back with uh, my interpretation of the pattern
So this is my review of the herringbone pattern. I actually love the pattern. I love the that it nests in between each row and I'll show you what I mean. This is my start row when I'm at the top of my quilt and so you will quilt in a partial row and then when you come back and do the full pattern which I'm having difficulty showing you all the pattern because of the dark quilt under on the frame um, then it nests into each other and when it's quilted you can't actually see it so let me show you the front of the quilt <clears throat> So I've just pieced, I, I mean, I just quilted from here to here. So this is my pattern repeat from here to here. But then I have some nested quilting coming down. So this is my repeat pattern, but it nests down. So you can't tell where one row start and another began. One other thing that I want to point out is when you're quilting on basketball jerseys some of them have stitching and some of them have this um, painted like lettering when I get over these textures when it's really thick especially up under these letters because they may have used some stabilizer underneath and I tried to pull out as much of that stabilizer as I could but sometimes some was still left in there and then plus on top of this fabric it's not really 100% cotton I'm not sure exactly what it is but it has a sheen to it so it's a little bit thicker and I noticed that my machine dragged when I come across these particular areas and you can see where the stitching is a little bit different there so um, I like the texture that it's giving me I don't know if it's really showing up on camera or not but I have like my areas are filled and the reason why the areas are filled is because I'm using two bats I'm actually using a 100% cotton batting. It's that toasty warm batting by Fairfield that Joann's had on sale during the uh, Black Friday sale. And then I'm also using a um, poly polyester bat. The customer wanted a heavy quilt and he wanted two bats, but I decided that maybe one cotton and one polyester would suffice because the t-shirt quilt itself is heavy with all of the stabilizing and interfacing that's underneath this quilt top is heavier than any other quilt top that I ever had so he's already got weight there so I didn't add more weight there but that is it I am going to continue quilting I'm almost done and then the next part will be to cut binding and sew it to the quilt have my binding I decided to make it scrappy I used any of the fabrics that I used while I was uh, making the quilt in the background of the t-shirt and pulled those and made strips and I have already sewn them together with a diagonal seam I just like the way that looks more than a straight seam and then I've gone to my ironing board and pressed the binding strips wrong sides together so that's what you see here and right now I'm just rolling it into a ball because I will actually um, sit this on my pin spool when I'm ready to sew I did a separate video about binding I'll try to link it if I remember and I am just waiting to put that onto the edge of the black so I thought all of the colors would look really cool on the black solid fabric. I will come back with some steel shots of the quilt top, one, a couple pictures wide on the frame, and then I will also add the finished photo at the end. I cannot do a finished photo on my frame because I don't have that much room here to do that. So I will keep you updated and add them to the end of this video but I will just go ahead and say bye here thanks for watching thanks for requesting the video and I will see you in my next video